Hi, it's Adam, and I just wanted to tell you, talk about something. If you're seeing the show My Name is Earl, where this guy named Earl Hickey was a complete and total asshole in his life, and in his past life, he wins a lottery ticket, and then he gets hit by a car. He loses that lottery ticket, and he gets it back after he does some good deeds and then he realizes this is that he needs to make up for all those good deeds so he has a list right so i realized that that show is bullshit because in earl hickey's case most of the people like 90 percent of the people 98 percent of the people forgive them and whatever um and I realized that's bullshit because there was this girl that I used to date back in the day. Um, and I was just very narcissistic at the time and just totally out of control with uh, my selfishness and the things I used to say to her. And, you know, we broke up. And she went on to do this coding camp or whatever. And so the thing is, when she did that coding camp, I, I know I know a lot of people in coding. You know, I know some recruiters and whatever. So I tried to connect her and she she was like, OK, I don't know these languages. You know, you're pissed. You know, this is this is not even helping me. Then I, you know, try to give her her website thing. Like, you know, why don't you help me out? make a website for me, you know, or my dad or whatever, then, you know, you can put something on your resume that could help you. And she was like, okay, that's too low of money. So I raised it to her price, but then she came back to me and said, you know what? I don't even want to work with you because your, the original price was too low. And, you know, so it was just, it's just one of those things. And I talked to her recently and, you know, I just realized something, no matter what I do, She's always going to think of me as the, the jerk I was back in the past before I changed my life around. And if you ask a lot of people, they know that I'm very um, selfish. And I mean, not selfish, uh, not, not selfish at all, that I used to be selfish. But now that I'm very concerned about others, you know, like everyone in that free code camp, you know, I try to make sure that's you know, so-and-so got a job. I talked to my friend, uh, he who lost his job. I want to make sure that he's okay. You know, try to suggest jobs for him that he can do. You know, it's, um, I'm very concerned about other people now. And, you know, it's like, you know, I woke up from this uh, narcissism uh, about a year ago. Um, that's when I really woke up from this narcissism and you know, it really started to culminate, you know, build up in my life that I became less and less of a narcissist every day ever since um, about a year ago. And now I, you know, of course you have to be a little bit narcissistic. You have to think about yourself um, in order to survive and everything. But I really think about others all the time. Now it's like, man, has that guy gotten a job? Has this guy gotten a job? You know, I think about myself too. You know, it's like, oh man, you know, I'm never getting anywhere in life. But the one thing that I, that I'm, you know, that I want everyone here is that if you wrong somebody and it's bad enough, you know, they they might not never, they might never forgive you for what you've done. And there's really nothing you can do about it, you know? I mean, you could try to help them and, you know, try to make up for it, but there's really nothing you can do about it. Sometimes you just got to move on in life.